the score, Dublin 3-8, Armagh 1-3. Uh, correction, 3-6, three, 3-6 six, three, six to 1-3. And there is the throw-in, and Jimmy Smith, the first to get it for Armagh. And this is Colin McKinstry, into Jimmy Smith. Out of the wing to Sean Devlin. Devlin is shot, and it's in the post! Oh, what hard luck! Back out now again. Joe Kernan to Sean Devlin. To Larry Kern, the ball knocked away from him, and Robbie Kelleher coming away. What an escape there for Dublin. Anton O'Toole, fouled in possession, and the free to Dublin. Well, that was a lovely move by Armagh, and we almost had the same electrifying start for the Armagh men to the second half as Dublin provided to the first. Kevin Moran now for the kick, just on the 50-yard line. Hanahoe and Penny Moriarty together and it is a line ball for Armagh 35 yards out from their own goal Penny Moriarty that's Tommy Drum oh feeding a lone Jimmy Keaveney and Dennis Stevenson running back there but uh, in his anxiety to grab the ball over the end line with it and it's a 50 and one of the Armagh men not too happy with one of the Dubliners as you saw there a bit of a, a pushing match going on after Dennis Stevenson was gone out in fact it's not a 50 it's a, a uh, kick out I thought it was a 50 in fact it's a free out the referee penalizing the Dublin man for a, a trip on Dennis Stevenson kick out to the center of the field this is David Hickey Armagh throwing everything into it now. Bobby Doyle, Jimmy Smith. Bobby Doyle for Dublin. David Hickey for Dublin. Out along the wing. There's a Dubliner everywhere. This time it's further flows. And now it's Brian Mullins. And now it's Jimmy Keaveney. And another goal! Another goal for Jimmy Keaveney. Flashing that one home. Two goals and three points he scored. He's within two points of an all-time record. Here it is, Brian Mullins, out to Jimmy Keaveney. And the man who leaves Jimmy Keaveney that loose, well, he has to pay the penalty. Well, Jimmy up to today had scored a goal in 16 in All-Ireland Finals. Now he scored two goals and three in this one alone. And the score is 4-6 to 1-3 in favour of Dublin. Only three minutes gone in the second half. Joey Donnelly. And that's an Armagh ball as it went off Tommy Drum, who's appealing uh, that it didn't, but I don't think even he believes it. Jimmy Smith. Joe Kernan to Jimmy Smith. Peter Trainer and that, oh, it's hit the up line. That's the second time Armagh have, that one's gone wide, the second time they've hit the post at the early stages of the second half. 4-6 to 1-3, Dublin the clear leaders. But certainly Armagh unlucky with that one that it didn't go over the bar and certainly unlucky earlier that uh, a ball that looked to be heading to the left corner of the net hit the upright and came back into play. O'Toole Bernard Brogan Anton O'Toole getting inside Joey Donnelly Tom McLeish going out for it Tony Hanahoe going out for it Hanahoe up to Jimmy Keefe again on the loose Tom McLeish trying to get after him back into John McCarthy John sends it high and John sends it wide. Well, Dublin have had eight wides and Armagh have had five. But of course, Dublin have had four goals and six points and Armagh have had one goal and three. 
This bone of Brogan tripped as he's going through by Colin McKinstry and there is a free in for Dublin. Dead straight in front of the goal. Jimmy Keaveney to take it, and if he sends this one over, it will be two goals and four points for him in this game. And the record for an individual player in an All Ireland final two goals and five points, a 60 minute final by Frank Stockwell back in the 50s. Well, they're attending to one of the uh, Ma men. It's Kevin, it's not, no, it's not Kevin Rafferty. They're attending to him down near the goal and Jimmy Keevery standing over. It is in fact Paddy Moriarty and that would be absolute disaster if he had to go off the field. There he goes back, hobbling back towards a position in the goal as Jimmy walks up and Jimmy sends it over the bar for another point for Dublin making the score now. Dublin, the very clear leaders with four goals and seven points to Armagh's one goal and three. 19 points to Six minutes gone, second half. Oh, lovely pass there by Tony Hanaho to David Hickey. Fly Mullins. And the referee penalising Blind for holding on to the ball too long, I would say. A quickly taken free that comes back out to Anton O'Toole. Nicely blocked down there by Joe Kernan. Anton O'Toole now playing ducks, drakes and geese with the ball. And it's easy knowing there isn't a point between the sides with the ease with which he sent that one wide. 19 points to six. Ten minutes gone of the 35 in this second half. Ma have not scored so far in the second half. On the kick out. Even the deflections going Dublin's way now. Pat O'Neill up to David Hickey. Out to Bobby Doyle. He's probably more conspicuous today than in any game for ages and ages. And Tony Hanaho a quick pass there to John McCarthy. Nicely intercepted by Paddy Moriarty. This is Tommy Drum. And to door two. We'll have Meadowlark Lemon in here in a minute. There's Brian Mullins with the ball. But the referee awards a free. And it is to Arma. Just a general hold. No, it's not it's to Dublin. I'm just wondering, there's a general hold up and play. Everybody's standing around. It's to Dublin, about 35 yards out. And Jimmy Keefe has now equaled the all-time record for an individual score in an All-Ireland final, scoring his second goal and fifth point there, making the score four goals and eight points for Dublin, one goal and three points for Armagh. Eight minutes gone in this second half. Joe Kernan, and it's certainly not Joe's fault. Referee penalising Bernard Brogan for a little bit of holding there. Paddy Moriarty now to take this free. Larry Kearns and Pat O'Neill and the referee penalises Pat O'Neill and there's a free to Jimmy Smith for Armagh. Just inside the 50, that's the 50 yard line there. Nice one and it's gone just to the left and it's gone wide and the score remains 4-8 to 1-3. Dublin leading. Here's Paddy Cullen now. Placing the ball for the kick out which he himself will take. The most experienced man on the Dublin team. Noel Barley. An Armagh ball. Ball knocked out of Noel Marley's hand there by Tommy Drum, and it's an Armagh ball. At least it looked one from up here, but uh, the referee checking with the linesman, and it is an Armagh ball. Noel Marley to take it.
beautiful fielder he is. And away they come, and that was Gail Driscoll. Jim McCow's driving belt there, going to Anton O'Toole. Still Anton, and another shot. Comes out there off Tom McCreech and is cleared down. This is Colin McKinstry. Peter Loughran and Sean Doherty going for it together. Up under the shadows there. Line ball for Dublin. Gail Driscoll going back to take it. Up along this wing. Kept in play by Tommy Drum, and this is Brian Mullins again. Anton O'Toole is inside him. Tony Hanahoe is inside him. Crashed into there by Jim McCarr. Ball got now by Joey Donnelly. Armagh making the substitution now. This is Larry Kearns. Jimmy Smith. Out to Joe Kernan. Joe on the 14-yard line is shot and it's a goal! A goal by Joe Kernan as he worked his way through there. Crashed into the goal. And the score is now four goals and eight points for Dublin. Two goals and three points and here it is again. There goes Joe right through. There's his shot to the left corner and it is a goal. Well, the Joey Donnelly is going off the Armagh team and his place has been taken by Jim Loughran, the younger brother of Peter Loughran. Kick out now there by Paddy Collins. And back on our eye again, Sean Devlin. Up there to Jimmy Smith, Jimmy Smith under pressure there. And Kevin Moran kind of intimidates him justifiably and legally. Intimidates him into not holding the ball there, not being able to get a hold of it. Paddy Cullum with the kick out, 4-8 to 2-3. Armagh really going now, Larry turns down with a knock there from Kevin Moran and the referee awarding a free to Armagh dead straight in front of the goal and about 40 yards out. We make it almost 13 minutes gone in the second half. And Armagh, if they had another goal to go with that one, well, we'd have a ball game on our hands. Larry Kearns is up, he's all right, and Jimmy Smith is going to take the free. Here he comes. And he kicks it wide. Anti climax, 4 8 to 2 3. Dublin still the clear leaders. Armagh playing with wind and sun in the second half, and Jimmy, who was so effective in the semi final from his place kicking, not quite so effective today. He's just got the one point. Larry Kearns. Dangerous kind of a ball there, but Paddy Cullen in perfect control, as ever. Pat O'Neill, out now towards Bernard Brogan. And the ball very near the sideline over there. Paddy Moriarty is penalised for uh, a push there, and the linesman at his flag up as well. And there's another substitution coming on for Armagh in just a moment as Noel Marley has gone off, but we follow the play to the far side of the field. It's Brian Mullins. And T uh, Dingle Daly is on. And here comes David Hickey with the shot. And David scoring his point there. Making the score now. Dublin 21 points or four goals. In fact, Dublin four goals and nine points to Arbaugh's two goals and three. And there it is again, David Hickey taking it and no doubt whatever about it. Dingle Daly on as a substitute for Noel Marley in the Arbaugh team. Ball very near the sideline there. The referee penalizes Anthony O'Toole for a push of Jim Loughran and Arbaugh trying to stoke things up now. 
Tom McCreech coming down the score 4 9 to 2 3. That's 21 points to 9. Nice bit of feed in there. In the center of the feed by Boyle and Brogan. Referee gave him the advantage, which they're turning into a count now. Tony Hanahoe and Paddy Moriarty. Moriarty up field now. And certainly Armagh are battling very well now. Peter Trainer with the ball getting inside his man there. And this is Jimmy Smith. This is Joe Kernan. He's on the 21. He's trying to repeat the performance of a moment ago. Jimmy Smith out to the corner now. He's trying to get Peter Nutton, trying to get through there. But it's a tough ball down there as Tommy Drum proved. This is Dingle Daly. This is Colin McKinstry. In now to Jimmy Smith. Across to Joe Kernan. And it's in another goal. Another goal by Joe Kernan. And look at that crowd. The score now. Four goals and nine points to three goals and three. And here it is again. Colin McKinstry getting it over there. In comes another pass. Shot to the net, and it is another goal for Arma. And the scorer, Joe Kernan, and the score now 4 9 to 3 3. This game has suddenly changed around from being a cakewalk for Dublin to really having them stretched out now to try to hold on to this lead. I know it's a good lead, but the game has really wakened up. Three to Dublin, Gail Driscoll to take it. David Hickey now. Pat O'Neill. Oh, nice. <laughs> it turned out to be a nice uh, clearance there, eventually by Dennis Stevenson. This is Dingle Daly. Dingle Dingle, over now to Colin McKinstry. Colin McKinstry to Joe Kernan, the man with gold in his foot. But standing in his way there, Robbie Keller, who has stood in the way of so many forwards so often. Bernard Brogan, Bobby Doyle, Bobby all alone. Bobby, still Bobby. And oh, almost deflected into the net there by an arm man, but Brian McAlinden in possession. Moriarty, the man who almost did the awful deed a moment ago, going to get up now to Gary Cairns. And the referee awarding a free to Armagh. There was a push in the back there on Peter Loughran. The referee let the play go on for a second or two to see if Armagh were getting the advantage. They did not have any advantage from it, so he has awarded them a free. Peter Loughran to take it in front of the goal. And he sends it over the bar, narrowing the gap. I know it's a big gap, but it certainly has been narrowed. The score now, Dublin, four goals and nine points. Armagh, three goals and four. And Peter Loughran, the man who got that one. His second point of the game. Paddy Cullen's kick out, nicely placed to Tommy Drum. Joe Kernan fisting it over now towards Jim Loughran. And oh, the pass that just barely made the distance there to Dennis Stevenson. Kevin Rafferty. These high passes could be very expensive when you're little and playing against big fellows. Dingle Daly now. Harry Kern's gone in towards full forward there, but the ball belted out under pressure. Why didn't Armagh play like this for the last three quarters of an hour? That's what everybody is asking. Dennis Stevenson. Very near the sideline, but uh, the referee awards him a free for attempted pushing out over the line by two Dubliners. Paddy Moriarty to take it. Halfway line, just in under us. 15 minutes left in this game. Peter Loughran with it now. Oh, a dangerous ball, but Paddy Cullen in control. 
Joe Cannon. Still Joe. A tentative lobbing one there. Nicely got out by Paddy. Robbie Kelleher. Brian Mullins and away come Dublin again. Up to Bobby Doyle. Bobby Doyle in now towards the free moving, fast acting, ready to blast for a goal. John McCartney, he doesn't blast for a goal, he blasts for a point. And he must have paid out the tune with it. A point there by John McCarthy. That's the second time John has gone through, blazing as if he was going to have a goal for a goal and decided to take the point. Dublin 4 10 and Armagh 3 4. Oh, a bad kick out there. And Jimmy Keaveney. Oh, what a lovely point by Jimmy. On the run. Certainly, Jimmy having a wonderful game, and now he has taken the lead in the championship. No man in an All-Ireland final in history has ever scored more than Jimmy Keaveney, who has now scored two goals and six points. The score here, 4-11 to Armagh, to Armagh's 3-4. Dublin 4-11, Armagh 3-4. Colin McKinstry, and Joe Curtin again running onto the ball. He's still going on. They're after him. Kevin Moran robs him and it's legal. But Joe Kernan holds on to him there and there is a free out. What a wonderful run back there by Kevin Moran. And now the final throw of the coin as Armagh make their third substitution. And that is it. That is their last substitution. I think it's Frank Toman who has come on, this former college star. And let's see who's going off. It's Jim McCarroll who's going off. Meanwhile, back with the action, it's Tommy Drum. Frank Tillman going up, pushing the ball down, had to go two in there, getting the ball. David Hickey. Look at Robbie Keller over here, back up there. And away now comes Jingle Day. <laughs> oh, he